Hey again guys and welcome back. I think I've got the five most interesting packages that I've ever gotten. So um, each one individually is pretty interesting but I think the combination of five makes for the most interesting mailbag video I have done so far. Especially this one here. Big purchase. You're gonna have to wait till the end. But let's get started. First one up is this one here and um, this is the second time around I had to order these um, because Canada Post lost it, or they didn't lose it. it. It showed up in an empty envelope torn apart and Canada Post didn't put that in their system. They just said contact customer service. So right now I am fighting with uh, the AliExpress seller because the the tracking number doesn't say it is lost. So anyways, uh, 1233 August 26th ordered. This is the second time and September 10th arrived and it said a nion generator so those of you who watch big clive will have seen these these are ozone generators i believe these work on 12 volts and they have these little bristles where the ozone will be shot off from um, i need to look up the specs of this thing and I need to give you a closer look so I'll bring you back for that. Not sure how well you'll be able to see that but I want you to be able to see the uh, power it takes to. Um, so this is the little uh, carbon fiber sort of brushes there. There's one really long strand. I don't know if you can see that either but um, yeah those are them there. Uh, two wires seems like it's silicone wire which is really nice and then it's just a potted sort of box maybe the size of a of a relay and we've got two pvc jacketed wires here and that's it so i'm just going to set this up sort of away from here this uh, should produce high voltage uh, let's see what happens contact like no current it's not it's not drawing any current at all. Are my connections good? I don't know. Is this thing blown? Do I smell ozone? I have no idea. Well, I really don't know what I expected, but um, I don't even know if this is working. It's not drawing anything. I could probably try to check the uh, current draw with like let's say a multimeter but I mean it's under 10 milliamps how much can it be really doing I don't know and I did check the stickers on this thing it is uh, I don't know if you can see it is DC 12 volts and it's supposed to output um, 2 to 6 kilovolts I don't know I'm not quite sure what to think. This requires more experimentation. On to the next one. I'm going to keep you zoomed in for the next one here. It says resistance CO407. Um, this is actually a restock. $17.55 August 23rd to September 8th. I have to tell you I am really satisfied with these modules. So satisfied that I went and bought a whole bunch. So these are these uh, DC to DC buck converters uh, that you've seen on the channel before. I bought some. I use them to control um, LED strips for my wife's uh, lighting on her Twitch channel. That is twitch.tv slash Verowak, V-E-R-O-W-A-K. And these are fantastic. You want to get the ones that have at least the two potentiometers. One is the voltage set, the other one is the current limit. And the last one is uh, the um, level at which it'll turn on one of these LEDs to tell you that the battery is full. I think they were, you know, they were designed for charging lithium battery packs, but I think it's best if you balance charge lithium battery packs and use this for LED driving specifically uh, LED driving at lower voltage than your input. So these things are great. I wanted to get a whole bunch because 
I have more LED projects on the way and these little modules are fantastic for that and as you saw I've got 10 here they were like a buck 70 Canadian each shipping included so pretty cheap um, I recommend you grab some before you need them on to the next one here is another super interesting one I wasn't sure if this one was going to get stopped at the border or not. It says expansion board module, $4.98, August 23rd, September 21st. That's today, September 21st, day of recording. Okay, uh, this one I'm a bit terrified of, but I will give it a go for you folks. This is a high voltage transformer. I'm just gonna I can short everything out here. Uh, I don't know why I bought this. Uh, I'm a little bit afraid of high voltage. Oh look, it's a hollow tube. Huh, it's all glued in there. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit afraid of high voltage. And this is, it's supposed to be a one is it 10,000 kilovolts? Give me a second. Well, it says a thousand kilovolts. So that's a million volts, is it not? That's a lot of volts. Um, let's put this somewhere relatively safe. Uh, it also says don't use this at no load. Uh, so that is something. Uh, I'm going to put 3.7 volts. I'm going to put a current limit of, maybe you should see what I'm doing. Oh, uh, geez, I don't know. Uh, half an hemp. Ooh, bit spooky. Uh, oh yeah, maybe I should tape this down so that it doesn't jump up and kill me. Now, a uh, million volts. That's dangerous. I also think this is a million volts, you know, with air quotes. But we will treat it with respect until we know any better. It says it can jump one to two centimeters, the arc, that is. Am I in shot? I am in shot. Good job. Just using some of this uh, polyamid tape, Kapton tape, so to speak. Uh, it also says don't use this with no load. Um, the, I guess the load for me is going to be the air gap. I don't know. I really don't know what's going to happen here. This could uh, just blow up spectacularly. Am I in frame? I am in frame. Nice. Okay, power supply is off. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Uh, corn tact? Okay, it made noise, but it didn't do anything. Just like squealed a bit. I don't know if these wires need to be stripped. Ja, Jesus Christ! <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Okay, they say don't use it too long. Let's see here. Ooh. Well, that's scary. Um, Further apart, maybe? Uh, <laughs> let's try this again. Nope too far apart at 3.7 volts. This is scary. I'm going to put uh, 7 volts in. 7, enter. And contact. Ooh, it's actually current limiting at 1, one volt. Ooh. Uh, let's go 3.7 again. And put the current set to one. Okay, here it goes. 
<laughs> already? No. Too big of a gap. Well, this thing is terrifying. Uh, I need to find something interesting to do with it. I don't know if it needs to be discharged or anything. Maybe we'll try to get them closer together and... Yeah, this thing's terrifying. <laughs> I don't know why I bought it. Maybe just to scare myself, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. Oh. You know what's funny? I think I smell ozone. How is that possible that the non-ozone making device is making ozone through its use and the ozone making device didn't? Whatever. This thing is terrifying. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. Something a bit safer this time. This next one here should be pretty safe. Uh, this one was sent by banggood.com for my review. Um, and that's because uh, I don't know if you've seen it yet. I don't know if I've posted it yet. But uh, I am doing experiments that one of these would be useful for. Well, some of you know already what it is. Just by the box. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. This is a CPU cooler. Um, ooh, LGA2066. Okay, AM4. Okay. Um, so, yeah, this is a CPU cooler. It's usually made to keep computer processors cool. It's a water cooler. Um, and the reason I wanted this thing is because I actually made my own water loop. And I made my own water loop that's roughly the same price as this thing. And it's actually the same dimensions. It has the 220 mil fans. Mine doesn't have this uh, RGB color change stuff though. But I wanted to see if mine is any better than a pre-made one. So if a pre-made one is the same, uh, it's much less effort to just buy a pre-made one. Let's see here. We got some mounting brackets. Oh, it's all one. It's all one continuous piece. Okay, there's no heatsink compound, which is good. And there we go. There we are. Now, this thing is fancy, though. Uh, this thing will put the temperature information. Oh, this is really hard to show you. Oh, this is mirrored. That's not good. Hmm. Well, anyways, the temperature information will be on this thing here. And then uh, these fans have RGB and they blow through like this. This is everything is the same as mine. So the the plan is to run the same LED or the same heat source on both mine and this one and see which one keeps the package the coolest. I wanted to plug this in to show you, but there's a lot of stuff going on here. I think this is the LEDs. I think those are the LEDs. I think this is the uh, power for the pump. But I don't really know what it's going to show you. It's just going to circulate water into here. This is already filled. Can hear a little bit of little bit of sloshing in there. Um, there's going to be the proper water with the proper uh, antibacterial agents on the inside there. These should be filled for life. Yeah, right there there's a bung here where you can top it up if you really need to. But yeah, I thought I'd uh, take a look at this and perhaps um, maybe put it, install it in my computer if it's, uh, if it's any good at all. I know that my processor could go a little bit faster if I could cool it a little bit better. But yeah, I want to do some experiments with it first. So if you care about seeing those experiments, let me know down in the description below. I think this thing is about 100 bucks Canadian, something like that. And that's more or less what I've paid for mine, for, for my custom setup. Um, except here, you've got everything in one box. 
you got RGBs if you want. You can control this with Arduino to change the color based on the temperature. Um, I have my 3D printed brackets which should fit this because it's all universal. Um, so yeah, this is, and it's all, you know, it's all in one piece. Let me know if this interests you at all. If not, uh, well, I have the link in the description if you want to get your own before I take a look at this. On to the next one. Last but not least, uh, well, in fact, last but probably most is this one here. Now, if you've been listening to the Simple Electronics podcast, you know all about this thing and why it's, uh, you know, regret but excitement at the same time. But the gist of it is that I want to up the video quality of my outdoor recordings. Um, and so I've been doing research on a inexpensive camera drone that'll at least get me in the ballpark of like better quality videos. Um, this is not a Mavic Mini Air or whatever. Uh, this is a ZLL SG700 Pro. This was only about a hundred. I guess I got rid of the box, huh? Well, I didn't write it down. It was about $150. Uh, so it's a fairly big investment um, considering what's going on in my life right now. But to me, it's important to keep I like to keep the channel going in a positive direction, like always improving. And so this is one of those things that I hope helps. So this is a camera drone, 1080p camera on the front, not 4K or anything like that. Uh, it has some cool features that are kind of, uh, you know, uh, unique at this price point. There's like, there's a ton of these quadcopters out there, uh, but this one here seems to have been the best value. Now, the most important thing for me right now is to make sure that this thing is under 250 grams because that is the uh, legal takeoff weight for someone like me who will be using um, a drone for commercial purposes. Say what you want. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter if I don't make much revenue on YouTube. If I make some, uh, this is this will be used for commercial purposes. Therefore, if this thing is above 250 grams, I need a license for it and a, an expensive one too. Okay, little scale with the batteries that are failing. Right now, that's zero grams. 187 grams with the battery. Neat. Okay, so that alleviates, alleviates that situation. Now, the other thing, the other thing I was checking out is that this thing would have brushless motors, and I don't know if you can see there, those are brushless motors, so that's good. That's something you want to check when you're uh, buying a drone. The brush motor ones, they work just fine, they're less efficient. So that's that. I also got a package with four batteries, which I have here, four batteries, two, three, four. Okay. And this thing is the controller. Now the, this controller, Ooh, it turns on by flipping down the things. Interesting. Now this controller accepts your cell phone because you're supposed to, what are you complaining about? You're supposed to put your cell phone in here so you can see from the camera. Oh, interesting. Little legs that come out. Uh, I don't know if it'll work without the camera. And also, I don't know... Yep, yeah, this, this won't be standard controls. It definitely won't because look at the sticks. They return to center. This will be sort of like the DJI where you, you, know, you press up and let go and it'll go up a bit and stop. This is not full manual control. It looks like it has, actually I really don't know what all these buttons do. This is something I'm going to have to have some time with. Hopefully the the camera app works, or the phone app works. Hopefully this thing 
isn't a terrible piece of crap. Um, but my research has showed me that this thing should do what I need it to do. And it does it for a reasonable price, $150, $160 Canadian. Not too bad for what you get. So I'm going to charge up some batteries, give this a test flight, and I'll come back and tell you guys all about it. Well, it works and it flies and it records. The app works on my phone. I had to just search it in, in the Play Store. Um, sorry about the very short clip you are seeing. I did not charge these batteries up before going out and um, the quad pretty much uh, said, you know, uh, batteries are, are low heading home and uh, yeah. And now it's raining and it's going to be raining for the next, uh, I think, three days. So I need to play with this some more before I can give you the official recommendation. Um, but I did go have a look and the price has gone up. I got it on a flash sale. So I'm going to have to evaluate it with the uh, regular retail price in mind. Already have a few planned upgrades. For example, um, I wouldn't bother getting the case. I would probably design my own. Uh, simply because uh, it's very padded around here, but this This is just basically the cloth here. So yeah uh, Also, it doesn't come with very many uh, of these spare blades Just uh, you know two blades of each direction So if you see this one's got the two lines in it and this these ones have the single line This is a type, you know, there's a type A and a type B. That's a type A. That's a type B but it looks like these are the same as the Mavic Mini. I'm going to have to order some uh, Mavic Mini, you know, Mavic Air Mini, you know, the tiny little one. Uh, I'm going to have to order some of those blades and see if they're the same. They look the same, so it's probably using that. Why would you develop your own blades if uh, someone else has already done it? So, yeah, keep an eye out on the channel for um, some footage. It'll probably be snuck in there before an official review will be done. So far, uh, looking at the video quality, even in really poor situations, and I haven't done any tuning to any of the settings, it looks decent. And decent is what I was looking for. And so this is it. This is today's mailbag video. Um, I'm actually, you know, already have my head swirling on what I'm gonna be doing with these things. Um, these guys, will need an investigation because I can't tell if they're giving off ozone or not. And it's unfortunate because these are the second round of these that I buy and the first ones, the only ones that will actually show up. Um, these guys here, I already know they're great. I might make a video specifically on these showing how they work. These things you guys should all have in your arsenals. And a special thanks to uh, Banggood for sending me this thing here. It's going to make my uh, cooling and uh, thermal transfer videos really interesting. And uh, thank you to my Patreons because really these mailbags are sponsored by you folks. And um, this drone here represents uh, a step forward, hopefully, in this YouTube channel that is only possible with your support. Thanks for watching.